I was reflecting on what Job had to endure. And to think about it, Job lost his, all his children. He lost animals. He lost buildings. He lost friends. He endured a lot of suffering. And not because he sinned, not because he did something wrong, but his faith in God was tested. And Job loved and God loved and trusted God so much. Look what Job said in Job chapter 13, verse 15. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Wow. Job said, even if God kill him, even if God take his life, he said, I'm still going to trust in God. See, Job knew that he knew who God was, who he was serving. He knew he was serving a loving God, a fair God, his protector, his provider, his deliverer, his healer a God full of grace and mercy, he knew who he was serving. He may not understood why he was enduring the pain and suffering he was going uh, through at the time. Why all those bad things, one bad thing after another happened to him. I'm sure he, he didn't understand it. It never happened to him before. He was used to having the, 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 the God's protection. Look what Satan said. Sure, he, 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 uh, sure he, surely he won't turn against you. Look what all you do for him. Look how you got the hedge, the, the, the hedge of protection around him and everything that belongs to him. Look at all of the, 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 the blessings that you gave him. Look at all of the, the, the he's rich. He has this, he has that. Life is good for him because you protect him so much, because you bless him so much. That's why. So, so Job was not used to going through such suffering. So I'm sure if it was me, I wouldn't understand what's going on. Why, why all of a sudden these big bad things happen? What, 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 what's going on? But Job trusted God regardless. His wife even said, why won't you go ahead and curse your God and die? Just get it over with. Job wouldn't listen to his wife. Job had adult children. He had been with his wife for years then. Years. Probably over 20 years. And his wife, when his wife told him, why won't you curse your God and die? Job didn't listen. Instead, Job said, though he slayed me, yet would I trust in him. How many of us have a mentality like Job? How many of us can would go, if we went through such pain and suffering, or even close to some of that pain and suffering that he had, had to endure, would, us, would we still be thinking, I, I love you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. I'm still holding on to you, Jesus. I'm not turning against you, Jesus. I'm not blaming you, Jesus. I'm still going to walk with you, Jesus. If not, that's not the type of mentality you would have if you go through anything like Joe went through. Then you need to work on your mentality. I'm not saying God would do you have to endure it much, as much as Job had to endure. But we do know, as Christians, we are going to go through some persecution for Christ's sake. We know it. The word of God is no. We do know in this world that there's pain and suffering. Every human being is going to go, go through some form of pain and suffering. We know this. The word of God is no. When sin, sin into the world, this is what this was the result of it. So you have to have the mentality, no matter what I go through in this life, no matter what happens, I'm going to continue to love and trust Jesus Christ. I'm going to continue to hold on to Jesus Christ. I may let some other things go, but I'm not letting my Jesus go. I'm going to trust him. Even if I lose my life as a result of the persecution I'm going through, as a result of of something that I have to endure, I'm still holding on to Jesus Christ and trusting him and loving him. I'm still going to. That's the mentality that you got to have. That's the mentality we all, all Christians should have. We pray 
that God will show us grace and mercy and let us go through and less suffering and pain as we have to. That's my prayer. I don't want to go through no more pain and suffering than I have to. But my prayer is also, Lord God, no matter what I go through on this earth, no matter what persecution I have to endure, help me keep my eyes on you, Lord Jesus. Help me continue to love you and trust you. Even if I lose my life, even if I lose the life of a loved one too soon, and I wasn't ready to let that loved one go, and I didn't want that loss, I still love you, Jesus. I still trust you, Jesus. I pray I don't have to go through that pain. I pray I don't have to go through that suffering, Lord Jesus. I pray you show me mercy. I pray you show me grace. But if I do have to endure it, I still love you. I still trust you. And if I'm not in the right mentality at this point in my life where I can love you, still love you, and still trust you, I ask you, Jesus, help me to have this type of love for you, this type of trust in you. Help me to hold on to you no matter what. Help me. Show me your grace. Show me your mercy. That is what your prayer should be. Because you want to be prepared for whatever comes your way. And you don't want anything or anyone to get you off the path of righteousness. You don't want to ever let go to the, the source of life. And the only source of life that we have in this world is Jesus Christ. The way, the truth, the life. Hold on to Jesus no matter what. Trust him no matter what. Love him no matter what. Have the Job mentality. Though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. Even if he slay me, even if he kill me, I will trust in Jesus. I will trust in Jesus.